Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Converting your Figma designs into a real life application that you can host on a website or even export as native code has never been as simple as this. It is code free, no code, so you don't have to learn anything. It's AI powered, so you can instantly change stuff up, add features to your apps and really supercharge what you're trading. So finally, there is a Figma and a lovable connection. You'll get to know what I mean by that in just a few minutes. Now, before I show you this legendary tool, we are doing a design meetup in Punjab, in Chandigarh particularly, uh, at Punjab University in February. The dates, the details, everything will be given in the link in the description. I'll give a link in the description. Uh, the tickets are on sale right now. You can grab your tickets right now, share it with your friends who are in Punjab, if you're not in Punjab, and tell them to come. If you've ever come to one of our events, you know how legendary they are. You know how many people come, you know how many experts are there, you know how much fun you have throughout the day, and uh, you know the cool merch that we give away and stuff like that. So come through, this will be an, a legendary day for all of us in Punjab. Uh, go ahead, share it with everyone. I'll have a link in the description. Now back into the video. So to begin with, let's just quickly start and get into Figma real quick. I'll just put myself here. I'm going to pick up this appointment booking app. Um, again, this will be an appointment booking website where people can book appointments with you. I have a link in the description so you guys can duplicate this and use it for yourself. I'll copy this into like a blank canvas right here. And as you can see, it has all these features. It has other things as well. I'm going to be clicking on this little magic icon, actions icon. And I'm going to search for a plugin called Builder. And this lovable integration is through the Builder.io app inside Figma. So once I'm with the design and the plugins opened up, I can easily select the layers or the section that I want. For example, I want just the header section for now. Everything else is just random stuff. So I'm going to click on it and I'll say export to code. Don't worry, it's not exporting code for you. You don't have to understand this. It'll quickly do its task and it will open up this little window. I'm going to click on open in lovable. After this, you'll get a couple of sign up requests. So you'll have to sign up for free on Builder and Lovable and that way you'll be able to access it. Once that is done, in just a few seconds, you'll be able to get this nice little interface right here, which will start saying these things on the left. As you can see, this text on the left says this. And if everything was done properly, and if you've kind of designed everything properly inside Figma, this is the result that you will get. So this is a full-fledged website that is just being imported with the code. As a next step, I can now start utilizing AI on the left right here, the AI section, where you can start giving it commands and it will execute those commands in your design on the right right here. So if I want to say add dropdowns here, dropdowns to the department and time fields, okay? And I'm just going to press enter and it's going to start doing its AI magic. As you can see, it starts saying, I'll modify the book form component to use the this UI for both the department and time fields. If you're a programmer or developer, you know what it's talking about, but you don't have to worry about that. Now on the right, it will quickly refresh. And as you can see, I have a fully functional drop down on the right, fully fun functional design like everything else too. So the designs are similar with the, you know, kind of blends in with the time and everything. Now I can ask it to send the form inputs to a Google Sheet that I have. Most of you guys might want to execute it that way, maybe Airtable or whatever that, you know, you want to integrate. And it starts to explain what it's going to do for you. So it's almost as if you're talking to a developer right here and not really an AI. So it's acting as a developer. It'll give me instructions on how to do this. And you can even ask it to set it up for you on your behalf. I'm not going to do the whole task, but if you just follow the instructions that it's giving you, or you, you can just ask it to do it on your behalf, it will do it on your behalf. You might have to give it some keys, maybe give it some sign-in options. But the fact that it's so seamless, it's crazy. What if I wanted to add like a scale up animation on this little button here? I can ask it to do that for me. Please add a scale up hover interaction on the book appointment button. And I press enter once again, enters my favorite thing here. And it's done the exact same thing. It's refreshed and look at this slight scale up just like that. It's not 
hundred percent perfect. It's because of some of the Figma constraints that we had. But if those constraints weren't here, if this was just your design, it would work even better. Wow, the fact that we can do this is insane. You can even add elements. So if I wanted to add a navigation, it would do that for me. So it'll add a navigation on top. And what's cool about this is it in instantly also converts it into a mobile preview. If your Figma designs were well made, this could instantly convert it into mobile as well. So it's completely responsive. You can even get the source code on hit GitHub for this very project. So this project titled lovable.app if you want to share this, you can at any point of time, click on this button on the top right, and you can share it as a full fledged website like this. This even has a domain. Let me show you. This right here has a domain on top like this. So once again, you can share this as a live preview with anyone you like. Other cool things is that you can check out a history of all the commands that you've given and the results that you've gotten from that. You can even go ahead and attach your own custom UIs. So for example, I want to attach this Twitter UI right here. And I can ask it to convert this Twitter UI into a full-fledged web app right here. So once again, based on images, you can ask it things. You can personally select something. So this T header one, you can select like this. So a lot of cool things that you can do here, a lot of customization abilities and a lot of uh, pinpointing abilities as well, not just random AI. And if you want to create designs from scratch, you don't even want to use Figma, it also has like this little box here, you just come to the home page and start typing what, whatever requirements is, for example, a PDF viewer or a SaaS landing page or a file uploader. It will add actual custom functionality, create your backend for you based on your requirements, and then you can tweak it as well. They also have custom templates, which other people have built their web apps on. So stock market, there's home pages, contact us forms, everything that you require, as well as featured stuff for some cool experiments that people have done here as well. You also have a learn section. So there is entire documentation for everything, tutorials, learning material, documentations, change logs, as well as a Discord community. So once again, if you like something like this, you have a large community to work with, you can get started with Figma right here. I will have relevant links to all of these tools and everything in the description so you can go ahead and start using all of this. As usual, I will see you like this every single week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon. Activate notifications so that you don't miss out on any of these cool design updates. If you like the video, hit the like and also share this with other Figma users, your friends, your teammates, everything. I'll see you next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.